Hey, Wes Huber here, crypto analyst at My Digital Money. I'm Guy Gottslack, president at My Digital Money. Yeah, so I think uh, the application of blockchain technology and nonprofit is is a good use case um, because the one of the biggest problems with nonprofits is is trust. Um, there's a lot of would be donors out there um, that have money to donate, but they don't necessarily trust that the nonprofit is going to use the money in the right way. Um, there's a lack of transparency uh, in terms of where the money is going and are they being effective with how they're using the money? Um, you know, you you have a lot of people that always say, oh yeah, I, I don't want to donate money because of that, right? Even, uh, you know, a, a simple use case like donating to, you know, a homeless person, right? Because, oh, I don't know how he's going to use the money. You know, he might mm -hmm. go and buy alcohol or, you know. So there's a, a lack of trust um, that blockchain solves very well. We always say blockchain is trustless. If you've heard that term that means that you don't have to trust because it's built into it right mm -hmm. you have transparency um, permanency right and so anything you put into the blockchain you know you know no one can tamper with it right with the nonprofit I don't know if even if they're showing me a report did they mess with the numbers how, how do I trust those numbers yeah, um, yeah. yeah so um, when it comes to transparency also when you're a donor and people, uh, a nonprofits, a good example is when they're building a school and they're buying items for the school, that donor could specifically put his money towards that specific item that needs to be purchased. Let's say computers for the computer uh, room. He specifically will see on the blockchain that he specifically was the donor of those computers. So I think this transparency is a big, big factor when, and you're gonna start seeing probably more and more donors pop up and more and more nonprofits that they really believe in because then they see that their money is actually going to a useful cause than larger nonprofits that have a lot of overhead and are m m kind of mixing up the dollars. Um, so I think there's a lot of good benefits. Yeah, I think it's a good point. You can choose how you specifically help that nonprofit. So you want to invest in computers specifically. And there's also the automation aspect of, of blockchain technology, the smart contracts aspect you can automate um, a lot of things. So you can basically uh, put conditional um, logic around it. Like for in, in the example Wes gave, um, like I only want to put in money once they buy the computers, mm -hmm. right? And so it can trigger kind of automatic withdrawal of your funds uh, based on some condition, right? And so you can automate a lot of, or, or you can even tie it to profits. You can say, you know, only if they reach a certain profit, then I want to put it in so it can be metric based so it's incentivizing the nonprofit to perform in order to get money right um, so you can put a lot of those kind of automations in place that, that is useful to make sure nonprofits are actually effective but I think most importantly you can tie it to results so you can say I want to put in more if you get even better results I'll put in more okay. so you're kind of incentivizing the nonprofit to do the cause that you care about right I think it makes it more accessible yeah, to donate, right? Because it's borderless, right, blockchain. And so, you know, you can uh, more easily donate your money and you can see where the money is coming from.